The recovery efforts continue in Johnson County tonight. Floodwaters destroyed dozens of homes two weeks ago. While families still search for precious belongings, a church congregation works tirelessly to clean up their sanctuary. WIMT's Alex Casper Peak visited Redbush Enterprise Baptist Church, where the cleanup at the more than 100-year-old place of worship goes on. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. I don't think it's ever happened. It's been more than two weeks since the Flat Gap area of Johnson County flooded leaving four people dead, destroying homes, and damaging churches. When I looked over here, and our air conditioner, you couldn't see it. It was submerged. But we had about a foot of water in here, and, and we were lucky. Our building didn't come off of no foundation. Leaders and members of Redbush Enterprise Baptist Church are working to clean and rebuild parts of the building damaged by water. We've had to take all the carpeting up, all the padding. We've had to do the same things in the bathrooms back here. And over in our kitchen fellowship hall, we've had to take the linoleum up and as well as uh, two feet up the sheetrock all the way around. Those with the church are finding a way to improve the building while making the repairs. We're going to build it back and it, it'll be better than it was when we get done one of these days. Although they have been working for weeks, seeing their place of worship damaged is something they will not get used to. It's kind of hard to believe. Actually, when I saw the first pictures of the water on the outside of the church, it was, it was, just, hard to, it was just hard to comprehend. Really. As a congregation comes together to build back a place that once felt like home. In Johnson County, Alex Casper Peak to BYMT Mountain News. Leaders with the church say they are currently trying to dry out the building before finishing repairs. They plan to hold services this coming Sunday at the church.